We should talk about super mutants. Let's see what else we can talk about with the Enclave. As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave Force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Um, he made me a, a non-ray member of the Brotherhood of Steel, um, but I, I was already made a member of the Lion's Pride, which is a sort of uh, regiment of the Brotherhood of Steel, as I remember, last, well, the end of the uh, Fallout 3 campaign, so that was kind of a mute point. Where is Sarah? She, I know she's just over there, but I'll ask anyway. She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. Good. Okay, um, we could talk about Super Mutants, but it's pointless. Uh, what's going on with the Purify? I would be interested in that, since it's my father's work and legacy and all that, so I'll ask about that. The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier, and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. May well do that. Because um, even though I am doing the Brotherhood of Steel, um, uh, broken Steel even, you know, my character's gonna act in characters, so I'm gonna go and check on the Purifier, see if everything's okay there. So I'll go and do that. I don't actually remember what significance that has, if any, but I'll go and do it anyway. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. I leveled up. Alright, so what have we got? 19 skill points, sneak small guns is pretty high, speech is pretty high. We could go, um... I was thinking about actually going into um, energy weapons, although, what have we got, science 75 and lockpick 75, so, I mean, mm, dunno, energy weapons, I could have, my character, like, did prefer um, small small guns, pretty much, but now she's seen the power of them, she might be like, hang on, yeah, I might be interested in uh, in, in this sort of thing, although I might want to finish one of these off first. Science or lockpick. I can also bump those up to a hundred. I think I get a bonus to sleep from sneak from my armor though. So you know what? I'm gonna bump it into energy weapons. A little bit anyway. I'll do that. And then I'll I'll put some into the lockpick ins. That's what I'll do. And we got this as well. Let's see what we can get now. Light step. Um Mine's probably a good idea. Lawbringer. No. Cyborg, no. Don't, I don't get the cyborg thing. Like, you suddenly just develop. Like, you know. Um, a, you suddenly become the Terminator, just like that. Overnight. It's with that. So, no. Chems last twice as long. Could be useful, actually. That may well be um, a good one to have. Because, um, like, my character's been addicted to <laughs> chems now. So, that, that, that could sort of work. I don't want to spend forever on this though, um, so we're gonna. I think we're just gonna do it with, with chemist because um, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. We're gonna go with chemist. It kind of fits our character. We're done. Now, Fox. I had hoped you'd return. What now? Need to ditch you, I'm afraid. Um, yes. Best to formulate a plan. What is it? He makes the game to um, right here. <laughs> if you insist, but do be careful. I think we're even. I can hardly repay your kindness while waiting back here. Yeah, since he's like invincible and all. Presence detected. This unit has activated. Hello. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's see where this dude is that we have to speak to. So we're going to data and quests and death from above. Yeah, Rothschild, okay. So where would he be? Out this way, it seems. It's 
been a little while since I played Fallout 3. Um, a couple of months, so it might take me a little while to get back into the whole control scheme. I did play around with it a little bit before. Like I said, I had to replay that last room. Kill them all before I started recording. Um, so I'm vaguely aware of the controls, which does help. Oh yeah, I was going to review my character, wasn't I? Let's do that now then. So here we are, briefly. Um, oh yes, we need to, <laughs> need to fix this. We need to fix this. Um, and, and, and that sort of thing as well. Yeah, we need, we need to fix all this kind of thing. You can uh, pause this as you like and have a look at what I've got. Killed 143 people. We're a bloody massacre. We are. Um, there's the weapons. Ooh, lots to repair with. Yeah, it's because at the end of the last game I was just picking up everything. Yep, we've got some reca recon armor, which is nice. And why are I wearing the? Uh, why are I wearing that? I guess there's no difference really. So that'd be why. So how much space have I got left? i got a little bit of space left. Anyway, so yeah, brief overview of our character. We're good with small guns. We have um, a sniper rifle and a, what you'd expect. Great. Hang on, wouldn't Sawbones be able to cure my addiction? I kind of need to fix these things before I start going off taking on the, uh, the Enclave. I think I remember it's Enclave and not Enclave, because I would say Enclave. It's just the way that I speak, you know? But yeah, it's Enclave, really. That's uh, the game that wants it to be said, so right. I'll say it that way. What do you need? I need to... Okay, no. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. <laughs> Patiently what was what that other need? one? Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I can't move. <laughs> Can I go? Medical procedure complete. Further instructions. No, no, no. Acknowledged. Hitting the rack. You hit the rack. I uh, probably going to pay a trip to Megaton or a Rivet. Well, Rivet City is probably better, isn't it? Let's see if I can get my addictions sorted out because they're not good. They are not good to have. They uh, upset me. Why can't I move? Oh, already with the uh, keyboard lag, her game. Early days, but fine. Fine. Oh, and if you want to see what she looks like. Alright, how do I spin round? Nope, that's that. There we go. There she is. There you go. One game. There we go. So is this leading? Oh, it's not leading me out, is it? That's good. Laboratory. To the laboratory. Oh yes, the robot laboratory. I guess they're beneath me. Over here somewhere. The Brotherhood is at your service. Great. Right. Oh, in here. Great. Is that you? Need something, friend? Yes, I do. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves. Pretty much. Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Um, tell me more. You've been fighting the Enclave and destroying them. Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? Love to. I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity, here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters, here, was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, 
Other enclave locations throughout the wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Hmm. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? Seems simple enough. Great, that's it then. So, now what? Game? Tells me to speak with Scribe Rothschild. Okay. If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I assume I'll that... alert him that you're on your way. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. I assume that since I had to speak to him again, um, there we go, it would just take me straight to him. But no, I talked to him again. How is Liberty Prime holding up? Because he was badass. Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well... <laughs> The rest was easy. Great. All right, that's just the same stuff as and before. So you go. Off I go. I wonder if I can find Doctor Lee around here somewhere. Speak with you her. With your presence here. I do. You're right. I so do. Um. The Brotherhood is at your service. Did you need something? That's kind of a random ass person to say, to thing to say, some person that I've never Stay strong, my friend. been aware of before. Just wondered why she had a name. Well, of course she has a name, but you know, anyway, I can't see, um... Armory. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's buy some stuff, or sell some stuff, or do some stuff. In fact, what we can do is, uh... Because I just like having excess stuff things. I've got all these. So I can repair that. Actually, maybe I should keep them. Hmm. Is there anything there I want to get rid of? Not so much, actually. Not so much. I can't remember what I'm um, suffering from. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what she's got anyway. Hail. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Thanks. Repair my stuff. I should let you know, I'm not going to use any of our equipment to provide parts for you. You'll have to pay for them. Figured. Um, that's a... 11 caps, not worth it. And you won't do anything else. Alright then, fine. Let's see what you've sure. got. Just be quick about it. Well, how many caps have I got anyway? Um, not that many. <laughs> not that many at all. But I'm just wondering if you have any stem packs. You have a few. How many have I got? 51. 51. You know what? I'm going to buy these anyway because it got me through the last game. Nothing else to buy really. I don't really want anything else. Well... Ammo, perhaps? Maybe? Do you have any of those? Yes, you do. I like... I like sniping people. Um, 32, got 94 of them. I don't think I have anything that uses the Magnum, but I don't remember, so I'm keeping them anyway. And, um... Okay, we're good, we're good. I accept that. Don't forget to sign out. Of course. 
I probably will forget to sign out. Nope, I forgot to sign out. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing I'll put this in the uh, description anyway, but if you're wondering why I'm doing Broken Steel first, because I know it's not the best DLC, and if I die, we won't see like the, the, the other DLC. Um, but, what time is it? It's two in the morning, I'm going to go and get some rest, even though I've been asleep for two weeks. It's not the time to go wandering off. Oh, I can't, no beds free, damn it. Um, yeah, it's just the, um, it's the next one in the series, in the, in the storyline, and since I'm um, trying to vaguely roleplay it, not, not massively, but, you know, a little bit, I figured, um be a good idea to to just play the this one first hopefully we'll get through it and then we'll see some of the better ones like operation anchorage uh, actually no that wasn't a good one what was the other one I'm thinking of point lookout that's it although the, uh, uh, and uh, the pit i quite like the pit as well but you know we'll see i really didn't like mothership zeta anyway or zeta or whatever right we're gonna wait until daytime assuming we're just sleeping on this bench or whatever or just waiting just chilling Get some food, whatever, even though I have no food in my pack. And where's the way out? They had a big uh, crane thing. Where has that gone? Where's the big crane thing? I'm sure this is the way out anyway. Is this the way out? Something, where's th where is the way out? Hang on. Follow the... This is the way out, right? There we go. Right, so I'm going to head to Rivet City because I'm sure they'll have a doctor. I don't know where it is precisely. In fact, there it is, but you can't see that from inside for some reason. So it's good to be back in Fallout 3 anyway. I'm going to head over there. Though I think the best way is to go over that bridge, isn't it? We're going to retrace our steps like we did in the... Um... um end of the game. I was just thinking I could dive in this water now and I'll swim, swim around in it because it won't be irradiated anymore, will it? I think. But, um... Why would my character go swimming when she doesn't need to? Oh, probably because there's things, horrible things. Raiders aren't that much of a hassle right now. But what I'm worried is because I'm level 15, 16 or whatever, Sneak. Um, horrible things will start appearing in the wasteland. Horrible, horrible things like big red scorpions and such. I'll take that. Let's see what weapons I've got equipped in my uh, quick slots. I've got the combat assault rifle, a knife, a combat shotgun, I mean. And I just had a stim pack, that's number five. Whoops. Um, there's my hunting rifle. Grenade. Mine. Sniper rifle. I think I'm in danger or caution because of someone down that way. Yeah, we should be okay now. 